What's up everybody, welcome back to Plugin Tut. As always, I'm your host Matt, and today we're gonna to talk about backing up your WordPress website, what plugins to use, what services to use, why should you back up, and at what level of backup do you need for your WordPress website? Let's dive right into it. Like everything else in the WordPress world, and maybe life in general, it always depends. That's the answer. It depends. Do I back up my website? It depends. It depends on what kind of content you have there, what it means to you, what the severity of the situation is, what happens if you lose data on your WordPress website. Only you can answer that, or only you and your organization can answer that. And then when you start looking at the solutions in the WordPress space, it also depends on what type of WordPress user you are. There are tons of services out there that you can use. There's tons of plugins that you can use. Some of them are geared towards the end user, right? Somebody who's like a, a blogger or a photographer. It's, it's built and sort of marketed towards them in terms of the options provided and the price points, consultants and professionals. So we need like multi-client access and we need licenses that we can use on hundreds of websites, if not unlimited websites. Or maybe you're the one who's out there there who just needs one website uh, to be backed up. You have to look for those solutions. Hopefully we can cover some of that stuff in today's video. I have a client who is starting a franchise. They already have five locations, which means they have five websites. They brought their IT person on to talk about backups. They are starting to grow and they project that they'll have 20 websites by the end of the year. So they were like, Matt, you know, how, how, what do we have for a backup in place? Um, what types of backups should we have in place? Is there anything that you can recommend? So their IT person is the one who actually controls their hosting. They have some custom hosting set up and, and he set it up. Every week it sort of backed itself up, uh, but it only kept that one week archive. So you couldn't roll back to two weeks ago, two months ago, two years ago. It was strictly just that seven day point in the backup process. Um, and it was also a full backup, means that it had the database and all the files, and it's a really big website. There's a lot of sort of issues with only having one backup. That's pretty obvious, it's only one backup. Uh, seven days, which means if something happens within the last few days, you can't restore from that um, or beyond. It's only that seventh day that it was last backed up, that kind of thing. A um, whole bunch of things that sort of cause an issue with that solution. So it's important to understand that backups aren't just about the backup itself, right? It isn't just say, hey, I've got a backup, I'm good to go. Like in this case of this customer, they only have that seven day backup, that's not gonna be the best solution if they need to roll back, like I mentioned, two months, two weeks, something like that. Um, but it's also a full backup, which means they're not gonna restore as fast as possible. It's really important that when we look at backups and we think about what kind of backup solution or plugin or service we wanna use, we need to understand that it's more than just the backup itself. So you also have to think about the restore process when you're talking about backups. Because again, if your site goes down and you need to restore that, is it gonna take minutes or is it gonna take days uh, for somebody to sift through this data and restore that? Disaster recovery is a phrase that gets thrown around in this space a lot. Um, if a disaster happens, site crashes, you lose database from some malicious attack or something like that, or power outage or whatever happens, um, the, the disaster recovery plan is really what gets set into motion, security both uh, on account level access and malicious uh, security and protection is something that is also so important with backups. Uh, nothing would be, could be worse if you have a whole bunch of backups but they're infected with the virus that you just found. So think about all of a sudden your site goes down or it took six months for this virus to sort of compound itself in your WordPress database and then suddenly you find it and you're like, well, don't worry, I'll just roll back six months. But if six months ago you got the virus and it was in there, that doesn't help anybody. You're only gonna kick that uh, virus right back into play. Important to understand that with all of the solutions we talk about and all the hypotheticals, all of this stuff is, it's very much like buying insurance, right? We all hate to buy insurance, car insurance, home insurance, health insurance, and we don't need it until we actually do, right? But it's really just understanding, does my business need this? Am I just this solo blogger and you know my web hosting company's backup is gonna be fine for me? I don't need any other plugin solution. If I lose my blog post, I don't really care. This is just this fun little thing that I'm doing, so it doesn't really matter. Or am I an e-commerce business 
And if my site goes down for more than one minute, I am losing hundreds if not thousands and ten thousands worth of, of income coming in. That's when you start weighing the two. Now we'll talk about five solutions for backing up your WordPress website. Plugins, services, let's dive into it. All right, so the first thing I wanna talk about is the backup that you might have already existing with your WordPress web host. So that's usually by default, they're giving you some protection in terms of backup. They all vary in terms of what they do. Um, and the point of this is to kind of show you to draw comparisons between a super entry level uh, backup solution all the way up the chain to enterprise hosting. So uh, in the case of SiteGround, which is one of the most affordable WordPress hosts that I recommend, at their entry level plan, they offer uh, one daily backup. So it's just a backup that you have from yesterday that you can roll back to in the event you need to. Um, it's also something that they don't offer in terms of a one click restore at this level. You'd have to actually have them restore your backup. So it's not this sort of really quick and easy way of doing it. You still have to open up a ticket, that kind of thing. When you move up to their uh, second and third tier hosting accounts, you get a daily backup for the uh, max of 30 days, so an entire month, you can go ahead and uh, restore back to a single copy of that day. Now, like we talked about before, this is not an incremental backup. This is something where it's a full uh, restore, and you'd be restoring your entire WordPress website um, with one of these copies. Jumping over to something that is a lot more advanced uh, would be somebody like Pagely, pagely.com. They are really focused on the real high end of WordPress hosting. As you can see, their VPS starting off at 500 bucks a month for 30 websites. Um, this stuff is really the stuff that's built into the cloud. It's They're using the Amazon's um, EC2 network uh, to build out servers. But as you move up the chain, you can see things like high availability, where uh, a plan where you have uh, two nodes active, active at the same time. So not only does this allow you to have a lot more traffic, but it also means that if something happens to one of those nodes, the other node will pick up on its um, or pick up the slack, for lack of a better uh, lack of a better word. But that's starting at twelve uh, twelve forty nine a month. This stuff starts to get much much pricier. But these are for very large sites, and the idea here is I just want you to be able to draw these conclusions to. Um, really basic one day uh, backup plans all the way up to this high availability um, backup clusters that you can get. Even their enterprise levels, you can go even beyond that starting at 2500 bucks a month. You can get into uh, distributing your servers across geolocations, which again is great for speed and high availability. But if something happens in a major area, um, your other regions will pick up on it. So it's just an idea so you know what type of uh, hosting solutions uh, live out in the real world. Moving into sort of the plugins and services that are available, this is what I would sort of label as the blogger slash maybe power user type of solution. If you're already invested in using Jetpack as part of your overall WordPress experience, maybe you're using it for stats, for their uh, 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 Photon Photos caching tool, that kind of thing, they also have uh, backups in here, and they're actually leveraging their sister company, Vault Press. And Vault Press, let's just take a look at the pricing. From a personal plan, it's only 40 bucks a year. Um, you get automated daily backups with unlimited amounts of storage. Um, and they're also throwing in their uh, brute force attack protection and some other spam and security protection measures, um, which I mentioned earlier in the video is also part of, you know, thinking critically about your backups for your WordPress website. If you jump over to the business plan for 99 bucks a year, you get the uh, automated daily backups with 30 day backup archive, right? So that's the big jump from personal to businesses. You don't get that, th that 30 days, meaning this, you can just roll back to the day before versus the business plan. You can go back up to 30 days and that's a hundred bucks a year going to the $299 per year. You are also getting real time backups uh, with unlimited backup archive. So let's just break that down for a second. The real-time backups means that you could actually make a change and roll that change back minutes, if not hours later, without restoring an entire um, build of your website. So super fast um, and super uh, granular when you want to 
you know, fix uh, something that you overwrote by accident in a template file or a uh, database, something like that, you can roll that right back. And it's unlimited backup archive, so you can roll back uh, to when your backups actually started. Uh, very uh, affordable for $2.99 a year, but something that you would really be a business professional or recommending to a business that really needs some of the best backups in the business outside of their uh, web hosting. So now I want to take a look at another solution. It's called Backup Buddy. This is probably one of the most well-regarded backup plugins in the WordPress space. Been around uh, for quite some time. Made by the folks over at iThemes. So number one, you can know you can trust a plugin like this. They're going to keep reinvesting in it. They're going to keep making it better, that kind of thing. But this is definitely geared for somebody who's managing multiple websites. Whether you have multiple websites in your business or you're a consultant, this is the one that you want to start taking a look at um, in that scenario. So, for example, Backup Buddy starts at $80 a month. Let me go down to the pricing. Starts at, or excuse me, $80 per year uh, to back up one website, 100 So 20 bucks more gets you 10 websites. So very affordable. For $100 per year, you can back up those 10 websites. And it's going to give you this one gigabyte of uh, online storage space. So they have their own storage system that you can back up to at this price point. And if you need to buy more storage space, you can, that kind of thing. But the beauty of this, again, if you're managing multiple websites, it works with their iThemes uh, Sync product. And their Sync product is a tool that's gonna allow you to not only back up your website, but manage the updates, uh, run reports, that kind of thing, and run security at the same time. So they have a whole suite of managing uh, WordPress websites from backup to security um, to updates, that kind of thing. If you're a consultant or you're an organization that has many sites, this is the reason. This is a great solution for you, and this is why you would turn to uh, a plugin or a company like iThemes versus paying for individual, let's say, Jetpack licenses or using another plugin individually on each website. Now, a newcomer to the game in terms of backups is this plugin called WP Time Capsule. I've known these guys actually for a long time. They put out another website management plugin called Infinite WP, and they've been doing that for years. Uh, and now they've released this companion service uh, called WP Time Capsule, it's going to be available in the WordPress repo as well. We'll cover that in a second. But this is another incremental backup plugin. Uh, you can back up to Dropbox, Google Drive, Amazon S3, um, download your files locally, much like everything uh, else. Uh, all the other solutions out there allow you to sort of back up to these multiple services, not just your own website and to your local file system, but to Amazon and, and different cloud services. Um, you can you can restore individual files as well. They've sort of dubbed this one-click restore uh, solution, which looks really, really cool. Um, and you can actually set up uh, staging your live site with your uh, production site. So if you wanted to test things out and you wanted to make sure that you didn't overwrite something on the live site, you want to test things first on staging, you can run all of that stuff through uh, through their plugin. It's a really neat plugin. They have just uh, recently renounced, been, been in a sort of a beta phase for quite some time, but doing much more of uh, a marketing and announcement push right now. For example, the pricing at the time of this recording, you can get backup for life across unlimited websites for $5.97. Now, it sounds pricey, uh, but if you're paying year after year a couple hundred bucks uh, for just a handful of websites, this would solve that solution infinitely uh, for uh, the rest of your life. So pretty darn good uh, deal if you do ask me. All right, so I have all-in-one WP migration installed, and I just want to talk about why this is sort of a hybrid and not a consistent backup solution, or certainly not a, a passive backup solution, because it is very much manual. You have to make these backups um, by clicking buttons. <laughs> it's something that you have to actually click on to create the backup to actually happen. It's not going to be an active service or passive service, depending on how you're looking at it. We're just doing it behind the scenes on a, on a particular time or when changes get made to your website. You very much have to come to this screen and make the backup uh, and also to restore the backup. Um, to contrast against other solutions that we talked about, it's also complete um, backups to a degree, right? So you won't be able to select an individual file uh, and you're going to be restoring entire backups. Um, with the exception, if you go in under the advanced options, what we can do is when we export a backup, we can choose not to export certain things as to, as to not make these backups g gigantic, <laughs> depending on the size of your site. So you can see right here, do not uh, export spam comments, post revisions, media library themes, um, 
plugins, database, email domains, all that stuff, uh, you can choose not to export that when you go to export this. So you can see right here, a little drop down comes up and you can select from these uh, destinations. If I were to just click on file, this will set the site up to generate the archive. It's zipping it up sort of in the background and then it's giving me the option to now download this file by save, save as a link and I can download this locally to my site. And you can see it's 208 megabytes, uh, but the max for the free version is 500 megabytes. Now, the other reason why this is very much a uh, migration plugin, as it as it states in the name, the uh, the ability to find and replace before you migrate. So, if you wanted to change a particular piece of content to you know read a different title or something like that, you could search within the entire WordPress site and replace it during that export. So that means when you go to migrate and import into the new website, it'll have those changes made. You used to have to use this to change the URL of the website back in the day. So if you were migrating from like a subdomain staging site and you were gonna go live to a you know single domain website, you go ahead and put in like test.domain.com and then replace that with domain.com. And now when you went to import this back up into the new site, it would then use this domain. But now it's sort of smart enough to know that uh, it looks at the backup domain and if it's going to a new domain name, it will then change that domain name for you. So it's smart enough to do that. But this is what makes it a true sort of migration plugin because you can search and uh, replace these things on export. Now, what makes it the hybrid is the fact that every time you click on export, it's going to save a backup locally to your WordPress website. So now this is actually saved in your hosting environment. And at any point, you could come in and download these uh, these exports that you had made. So you can, you know, if you're working on a staging site or a client site, and you know it's not a sort of long-term solution but your your plan of attack is you install all-in-one WP migration, you make your first export, that's gonna make a backup that you can restore um, right here from the file system if something happens. So it's a very much more of a manual approach. So if you're, work, again, if you're working in like the staging environment and you wanna roll back, it's gonna go back to maybe some of these restore points that you've had before. And these are complete restore. So it's just gonna cycle it right back to where you made that initial backup. So I like this plugin. I use it uh, sort of on the fly and again on those small project based scenarios. It's pretty cool. You can check it out. It's uh, WP all in one, or excuse me, all in one WP migration. So that's been backing up your WordPress website for the end user or the consultant. Uh, I hope you like this style of video. If you do, thumbs up. If you like this stuff, subscribe to the channel. I don't know if I'll do a video like this every single time, uh, but I'm always certainly willing to try some new things for the channel. Let me know what you think in the comments below. We'll see you in the next video.